Hello everyone, um, including those um, watching later, if you're not uh, watching right now. Uh, welcome to this stream. Um, I haven't been streaming for well over two years, I think, maybe three, don't even remember. Um, originally, I stopped uh, streaming due to, um, you know, kind of lack of time um, and some other personal events, but I I really wanted to continue, so here I am. Um, the last time I was streaming, um, I was uh, doing some microscopy, looking at a variety of samples, mostly from swamps or um, some rivers near me. Um, and I also did some Kerbal Space Program. Uh, I like to do both things still. Um, especially Kerbal Space Program. Um, I still look at the microscope a little bit, not as much as I used to. Um, you know, kind of the hype uh, started to decline after a while. Uh, but I still do those things, and in the future I think I'll, I'll bring both of them to the stream. Uh, right now I'm much more taken by other games, other interests. Um, for example, Today I'll be streaming Elite Dangerous because it's a game I recently discovered a uh, couple of months ago and I really like it, especially from you know the, the planetary science, planetary geology point of view, which is what I do in real life. So um, I kind of wanted to share that with you, you know, while I'm playing. Um, it's it's almost free, so why not when I do it? Um, one last thing before I begin the game um, uh, that I wanted to say is about language. Um, as you can probably tell, English is not my first language. Uh, it's the second language. I use it in everyday life now. But um, my first language is Italian. And um, I still prefer to speak English in my streams because I'm not expecting many people to be around uh, this time. It's late night or very early morning uh, in Italy, so uh, I don't expect too many Italian speaking viewers um, uh, watching my stream. However, um, if you want to chat in Italian, I'll be very happy to conversate with you in that language. So. I'll say it in Italian. Um, um, benvenuti nel mio stream. Se, se volete conversare in italiano, um, siete più che benvenuti. Uh, avrò molto piacere parlare italiano con voi. Ok, um, enough said. Um, I think uh, you're probably more interested in um, watching me play. So here it is. Hopefully everything works. Uh, I'm still kind of learning this this setup. This is also my first time um, um, watching the stream. Uh, no, thank you. Goodbye. Um, so um, spam aside, um, although, thank you for the follow, it helps. Um, um, what, what, what was I saying? Now I forgot what I was saying. Got distracted there. Oh yeah, this is also my first time showing myself in the stream. I figured that uh, you would like to, um, to see who you are speaking with, who you are chatting with, so... Um, um, here I am. Um, all right, enough said. Um, this is Elite Dangerous, if you're not familiar with it. I'm, right now, I am just outside of uh, the bubble, uh, if you're familiar with the game. So I am right here. And um, so, you know, the, the bubble will be around here in this region, not very far away. I've been farther away in the past. In fact, I've been all the way down here. Not that it's super far away uh, compared to the rest of the galaxy, but it's, it's some distance away. And uh, I'm mostly doing a trip to reach 
the elite rank in exploration uh, which I'm fairly close to achieve because uh, as you can see I'm almost done with the pioneer rank so I kind of wanted to to complete that and um, and also rank up in exobiology while I'm while I'm doing exploration um, I don't really do combat or much mining in this game I've done it a little bit but it's not my main interest my main interest in in this game is is exploring because that's kind of what I do in real life so let's explore the rest of the galaxy outside the solar system um, so on this planet uh, there are as you can see eight biologicals which is quite a lot and I've already scanned seven of them. The only thing I'm missing is Fungoida. And uh, if I remember correctly, Fungoida is in the mountains. Um, so um, I'll actually check it. Um, for sure it's not around here. I'll turn down the volume because it's a bit... Oh, and I forgot to unmute here, okay. So now you should hear the sound from the game. I'm still experimenting. This is kind of a test stream, not a regular stream for sure. Um, so let me know if the out is a bit too loud. Hopefully not. Uh, maybe it is. Still. Let me turn down it a little bit. There. Okay. Gear I haven't played in, in a few days, so I'm not entirely sure of what I'm looking for. The fungoid is, is in the mountains or in the canyon, so drive charging. I'm gonna take a look at the map. Four, three, two, one, engage. Okay. Um, Fungoida. Yep. Fungoida, actually, it's worse than that. It's only in the canyons. Um, so I was good where I was. I just need to look more closely. Okay. 
Fungoida, if you're not familiar with the game or not familiar with uh, exobiology, um, as the name uh, suggests, uh, it looks like um, a mushroom. And I am pretty sure it comes from the Latin for mushroom. So in Italian, it would be fungo. I think in Latin, it's fungus. In English uh, tends to describe something slightly different than mushroom, but it's almost the same thing. What is this? No, this is the. Wait, what is this? Is this the fungoid? I can't even remember. Um, This was Cactoid, but Cactoid looks like a cactus. So. Scorpion. I'll go with Scorpion this time. Servi is really terrible in rough terrain. Scorpion is somewhat. Low gravity warning. Um. Uh, The only thing I don't like about the, the, the scorpion is that it's kind of sluggish to maneuver compared to the SRV. Uh, usually, I use the SRV. Um, you know what? I'll go all the way down there so I can move this way in the canyon. And the farther away I make it in my first sample. Um, the, the closer the distance I'll have to travel before finding enough genetic diversity. To what? That one. The farthest of all. I've never seen one that looked like this one. Um, usually they really look like mushrooms. And. I wonder if I I forgot uh, where I got it, but I used to have a um, to have the link to a guide for exobiology, uh, which contained all the all the credits that you would get if you mapped um, a specific uh, sp species or I guess maybe subspecies um, of any of any biological um, sample. And I am pretty sure I already sampled something that is not so common. Um, in fact, you know what? I have an extension here running. Let me see. Um, oh yeah. So I'm using ED Market Connector. Um, and yeah, the last species was Fungoida um, gelata, 
and it's worth uh, 3 million credits. Not even sure if this is accounting for the bonus for being the first to scan because I'm for sure the first to land on this planet. I was the first to to discover, well not to discover it maybe, but for sure to map it and to land on this. Um, so this is actually quite handy. I, I just recently installed this. I never really used too much, but it tells me how far away I need to travel, which is super useful. Because each I know each species uh, requires a different distance from the each sample between the sample. Otherwise you don't have enough genetic diversity. So it's telling me that I'm almost uh, far away now. game might be still a bit loud. I'll need to check the video afterwards. Um, but the impression is still a bit loud. Hopefully it's a little bit better now. So, not that I like uh, to talk in stereotypes, in fact, I, I really dislike it, but I'll accuse myself of being an Italian driver, especially with the SRV. Uh, with the, well, I should say with the, what is it called, this car, because this is also an SRV. So many of these right here. Uh, these are the Conca or Concha. Some some people pronounce it Concha. I like to pronounce it Conca. Um, and this is uh, oh wait. This is the Renibus. Um, which which is the Latin for. It looks like kidneys. Um, kidneys in Italian is reni. Uh, rene for a singular kidney. Um, so it's basically like the Latin. And I guess they look like kidneys a little bit. Um, not super convinced. Yet. It's kind of an odd shape for kidneys. Kidneys look like more big beans. In fact, there is a type of bean, the red kidneys. It's because they look like kidneys. Okay, kidneys are also oh, kind of brownish in color. There is some more of the Fungoida, so that's good. Uh, for sure we are far away now. Yep. Also, this stream probably won't be too long. Um, Mainly because it's, it's kind of late in, in, in the evening for me and I will need to wake up early tomorrow. Because I have work to do. But I'll, I'll be playing for, I think, at least an hour. There you go. That 
that's the Italian driving I was referring to. leaving. Well, at least it can probably land here. Maybe I can see it. Uh, oh yeah, there it is. Bye bye. <laughs> the first time that happened it was like, what? How do I recall it? Um, but then, then I figured it out. But it, it was um, it was a little bit scary because I didn't know it was gonna do that. So that's the cactoida right there. Looks like a traditional cactus with the prickly pears too. See the <laughs> the prickly pears right here. Um not not too original, but I'll take it. It looks looks nice. Adds a little bit of diversity to the vegetation you can find on the planet. and moons in this system. Not 100 percent sure. That's kind of cool, though. Uh, you know what? I wonder, I wonder if the game is accounting for shadows in temperature. Never tested it. Uh, let's see. So we are in the sun right now. Kind of, at least. Yeah. Because that is the star. So the temperature is 204 Kelvin. Oh yeah. It is cooler. That's nice. That's very neat. That is very, very neat. Um, so it drops uh, 15 Kelvins. Or 15 Celsius. Uh, they are um, the same step size in their scale. Don't ask me about Fahrenheit. I know it's it's cold. This is you know if you're curious about it, um this is roughly the same temperature that you would find on Mars. Um, it can get even colder than that. During the day, though, this is kind of normal for, for a Martian surface temperature, especially near the equator. And, in fact, this surface itself 
um, in some places um, near very close to the equator can reach uh, actually positive temperatures so above zero celsius so above 273 kelvins uh, the surface can be as warm as uh, 20 celsius which is kind of the average uh, surface temperature on Earth, I think. Maybe not. Considering the poles, probably not, but um, in temperatures, in temperate zones, for sure, outside of the poles. Uh, but that is only the surface, and that is because the atmosphere is very thin on Mars, uh, kind of like on this one. Um, Oh, by the way, I didn't show you where I am, but now I cannot show you because I am in an SRV. Uh, but I am on the moon of a gas giant, which is not visible. Uh, it's behind the mountains. But in any case, um, I was talking about atmosphere and surface temperatures. On Mars, the the surface temperature can be fairly warm, not only because the atmosphere is so thin that it doesn't absorb much of the heat from the surface, like on Earth. On Earth, the, the atmosphere kind of really dampens out the day to night and seasonal trends in the surface temperatures. So it makes everything not as hot as it should be, and not as cool as it should be as well. If you are near an ocean, that effect is even even more uh, even stronger. And that is because water can can trap a lot of heat. I am not seeing the fungoid anymore. Uh, okay. I think I'll recall the ship. Uh, unless I find it down here. This is only Cactoida, and I think that one is uh, Conca. It is Conca. Sorry if I'm angry does that prefer to say concha but um, I, I kind of like to pronounce it the Italian way the Latin way This is what I think is the, uh, the not the Italian, the Latin pronunciation. Yep, nothing. Some glitches in the the shadow there. But otherwise, you know, besides this minor glitches I really like how terrain and topography is generated in this game I like how unique it is from place to place and planet to planet or moon to moon uh, okay uh, I'm really not seeing anything so Let's recall the ship. Ship recalled. Which should be able to land here just fine. Maybe I'll step a little bit. So probably should have done it earlier. Because that might be a good spot to land. And now we wait. There we go.
So, by the way, as you've probably seen, uh, my ship is a Great Phantom. I really like it. The only thing I don't like about the Great Phantom is the position of of the cabin, um, the cockpit, uh, in particular. In my opinion, it doesn't make any sense. I don't know why they didn't put it right there in the gap between the two I don't know, protruding parts in front uh, of the ship. Uh, there are other ships that look like that, so maybe they didn't want to be too repetitive in ship design, but uh, the cockpit being so kind of, you know, kind of low here behind, you know, down here behind uh, these two things, uh, I don't know, it looks weird. It takes out some visibility on the sides when you're piloting it. Uh, I don't like it much. I I wish it was uh, after uh, the structure. But yeah, I'll take it. Or at least I wish we could modify it a little bit more. Uh, besides adding things around the ship. But oh well. I I still like the ship enough. It has an excellent jump range. Oh, it's 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 really one of the best ships for uh, for exploration. So I think I'll keep using this for the time being, really. Okay, let's go and find some some fungoida. Uh, by the way, before I forget. This is where I am. I am on this moon right here of this gas giant. Um, uh, these other moons also have biologicals, but less biologicals. Um, like this one is five, this one is four. Um, sometimes I map the other moons as well, but um, this time I think I'll try to move on because I'm mostly interested in ranking in exploration rather than exobiology. Um, exobiology can happen as I keep playing. Um, and I don't think there are any other moons. Um, I was under the impression that that there was an ammonia world here. But maybe I'm wrong. Um, I thought there was one. Because this is not. This is a metal bridge. Unless. You know what? This might have been the ammonia world. Is this the ammonia world? Yeah. This composition, it is an ammonia world right here. Um, I don't think I mapped it though. Yeah, I didn't map it. Um, so I'll need to do that. Okay. Um, I, I le first landed here like well over a week ago, and in the meantime, I forgot about it. Um, mostly forgot what I was doing. Okay. Let's see if we can find a fungoida. It won't be easy. Um, is this no, right? No, this is the Tusok, I think. It's one of the grasses, the one of the weeds. I already mapped them. Um, those are rocks, I think. Nope. Um, poorly rendered. Tusok, I think. 
those are some Cactoida further away um, I also tend to pilot the ship like an Italian driver um, so if you see me crashing well get used to it because it's gonna happen uh, that's why I put somewhat decent shields on, on the ship oh and if you're interested in what ship I am using uh, you can type in chat um, ED Phantom I'll do it right now and uh, it, you'll get a link to my current setup it's not 100% accurate because um, some engineering is not 100% complete uh, but it's pretty close This ship has a 70 light years jump range. It's almost the maximum you can get with this with this ship. Uh, you can get more closer to 80, but you will need to basically strip down the ship like to almost nothing. You will need to run um, shieldless. Um, very minimal um, equipment on it like I don't th even think you can do like a an SRB bay uh, in it if you want to get something like 75 76 light years um, so 70 is plenty enough um, that is kind of the objective that I that I had when I was uh, setting up this ship and doing the engineering um, I think when when I come back I'll change a few things so I'll, I'll put um, 4d thrusters instead of 5d um, right now I have 5d um, mostly because I saw that I don't really need the the extra power, the extra speed. I, I basically never use it. The few times I used it, I crashed <laughs> because I'm not that great of a pilot. So, so you know, uh, 4D thrusters mean even less mass on the ship, which means that I can equip larger shields and still keep over 70 light years of jump range uh, I can also put like uh, I can put in a, a lower grade lower class I should say um, power plant so even less mass um, and, and then I can put on a few other things uh, like for example right now I'm, I don't have anything in art points um, I have a fully engineered lightweight um, what is it called it's not a plasma accelerator it's the rail gun with the plasma slug modification um, which some suggest to bring in um, on the ship because um, you can come in handy to you know spend fuel to make a longer jump range if you need to especially if you're using uh, uh, the FSD boosting um, I don't personally think I'll ever use it but you know if I can keep the, the good jump range oh this this plant was so beautiful 
try to get close. It's so beautiful. Uh, I forgot what it is, but I'll scan it for you. Oh, come on. Okay. Uh, Aleoida, the Aleoida. So beautiful. Uh, however, finding Aleoida tells me that I am not in Fungoida territory so I'll need to go back. In fact, there was another plant as well. Oh yeah. I am kinda out of the canyon. Oh, I really hope I can find the third... Um, Loading gear retracted. The third um, sample for Fungoida. I really want to leave this moon. I've been here forever. And of course, if you have any questions, um, especially, you know, science related somehow, oops, um, I'll be very happy to answer anything. You know, Assuming I know the answer, of course. I know a little bit about the game. I've been playing it for a couple of months now. Uh, not that I'm an expert, absolutely. I have maybe under 50, 200 hours. Uh, nothing, nothing exceptional, nothing spectacular. In fact, it's still in the low end of hours that players typically spend on this game. But I know a few things. Mm, what is this? Need to solve. No, it isn't. That's the Aleoida. Why is there an Aleoida here? It doesn't make any sense. I thought Aleoida was only outside. when I met so that's that's bacterium that is because it's outside of the canyon so that makes that makes sense hmm I will need to find a slightly different spot for me a different going now see I was almost crashing again that is because I keep flying with Sunderland here to slow me down. I'm not super happy with the landing system in this game. Sometimes it's really counterintuitive and, in my opinion, a little bit stupid. But there you go. Third and final sample. There goes three plus million credits. Plus the first two sample bonus, which is f three times, five times, can't even remember. I know it's a lot. Not that I really need the credits, I already have a ton.
but well. Alright. Landing gear retracted. Okay. Let's go to that Ammonia World. Which is of course on the opposite side of the planet. And then after that, I think I'll continue a little bit, um, you know, to move away from the bubble. And I'll show that to you. Um, and once I reach uh, kind of the destination, um, I am going to head my way back to the, to the bubble. The night was kind of scant. I guess it makes sense. There you go. I thought I scanned all these planets though. Oh well. Um, so, well. Maybe I didn't. I never did. That explains why I didn't know there was an ammonia war to discover here. Yeah. You know what? Uh, what I probably did was to see that there was a. Um, that there was a, a moon with four biologicals and so I added straight to it without scanning everything else in the meantime so I'll do this other scanning and I'm, I'm a bit slow with the FSS because I haven't done it in like 10 days, possibly two weeks, so I need to remember um, what to look for. Two geologicals, that's interesting. Wonder if um, there are some materials of interest. Not that they really need materials right now, but because I have everything. But sometimes I like to stop and, uh, especially on icy moons and with with geological features like the geysers and and the fumaroles. Well, not the fumaroles, the vents. System scan there you go. Um, now, of course, I wasn't ready. See, this is what happens when I don't play for a while. Frame shift drive um. charging. Four, three, two, one, engage. Okay. Um. What, what, what was I saying? Um. 
Yeah, sometimes I, I like to land on, especially in icy moons, um, and take a look at the material spine if you think you're in there. Because uh, why not? Um, especially if I'm kind of towards the end of the game. You know, I find a system with some some geological, some biological, so I land there, I start to do something and then and then I go back to the ship and uh, wait until the next time. Usually when I'm here, I'm already close enough. Okay. Ten probes. Uh, th this is a large one. Okay. Let's send one to the back. Uh, if it is ten probes, I can probably do it in five. So three on the sides of the horizon and one here that's five um, you have the engineering modification for maximum radius uh, maybe not judging by the percentages surface scanned by 50 percent nope <laughs> okay uh, I should have sent four. Oh, I'll still get the bonus. There you go. Eight probes. That's gonna be probably under percent coverage. Yep. There you go. Surface scan complete. Okay. I think I am done here because I'm not really interested in landing here yet. Tungsten, yttrium, uh, that's a little bit interesting, but uh, ruthenium, no. Uh, molybdenum, tellurium, no. Not interested. Okay. I will go to this destination. And if anyone knows um, how to make the game remember what was my destination here in the galaxy map, tell me. I try to find out and everything I've seen on the internet says it cannot be done you just have to cancel and redo the route uh, which is a bit annoying Frame shift drive charging. But, oh well oh and at the bottom of the stream you can see my stats for explored planets I put the, you know, the most interesting objects in terms of planets and stars. Uh, not that I've explored a lot, but I, I've done my first discoveries, especially for Earth worlds and Water worlds and Ammonia worlds. There is a water ward. Fuel scoop disengaged. Um, of course, it has already been discovered. But 
Well, we'll take it. Should go further away. This is another thing I forgot. They're not playing for a while. Okay, this should be far away enough. Uh, there it is. C. Oh, yeah. That is the water board. And it has already been mapped. Good for Reverend TZW. Good for them. Oh, wait. Um, it's not really anything else of interest, I guess, but I'll map it. Why not? It's not too many bodies. Some more credits. One biological there. Not that I want to go all the way there to find a bacterium, but system scan complete. Um, all right, Frame let's go. Drive charging. I just saw that the the exploration widget got a little bit cut. Sorry about that. Fuel scoop disengaged. I'll change it in a second. Um, Forget exactly what I need to do. Okay. Uh, I need to edit it later because otherwise I I'll probably mess it up. Frame shift drive charging. System. Fuel scooping. Anything of interest? Um, Fuel scoop what is this? This looks funny. Nope. Okay. Just an impression. Let me see if there is anything. Um, nope. 
Not really. I'll skip it. Frame shift drive charging. has been scanned not only there are I think there is a water ward and a money ward just a water ward okay Scan the rest. That one kind of looks like Mars. Just larger polar caps. That if you check out the telescope image of Mars, almost identical. You know what? I'm going to take the time to travel there and Okay. And in the meantime I will try to change Explosion with you. Okay. Um, let me see what I can do. My guess is that I need to rescale things. Which means I'll need my calculator. Okay. Ah, <sighs> let me see. There you go. Hopefully, 
this won't interfere too much. Um, the only thing I'm seeing is that this appears to have the same issue. Oh, I know why. I know why that is happening. Okay. Um. This is gonna be... Good for now. There you go, you get to see some behind the scenes here. Looks good. All right, I'm satisfied. Fortunately, this when when planets are so far away, it takes a while. So that's probably gonna be like, uh, would say, probably another seven eight minutes, because then it's gonna slow down at some point. Um, in the meantime, I can show you a few things. So my destination is right here, um, no particular reason, just um, chose a, a position in the galaxy, a star in the galaxy that is uh, somewhat far away from from the bubble to, to get some exploration data, but that's it, uh, no other particular reason. Um, in the past I've been all the way down here uh, this is the first um, I think the first uh, earth-like world 
I ever discovered um, that that wasn't previously discovered. Um, so, yep, there you go. That's me. And what else? I didn't mean to do that. Um, another system I'm particularly proud of is this one. Um, fairly close to the bubble. I discovered it when coming back from the trip. And it had never been mapped. Um, except maybe for a few planets, but I think mostly it was discovered by me. It is 67 planets, and of which two are water worlds. And I got to be the first to discover them as well, like to map them as well. Um, yeah, so it was something was discovered by someone else, but I guess they just gave up to discover a bunch of stuff. So I mapped the rest, and to date, this is the largest system I've ever mapped. 67 bodies. Um, I've seen people have mapped even larger bodies, but uh, for me, it, it's it's quite impressive because the previous larger system was something like 51, 52. Um, so this this was a big jump. Uh, I was not expecting to find something this large, especially with two water wards uh, so close. Uh, especially because I think... Um, yeah, so the main star is a G-type, and a lot of people um, will only visit G-type stars, or at most like FGK, because G is the... Um, the same spectral type as the sun um, and th this is the type of star that has the most earth-like worlds um, according to statistics of the game um, these other two the F and K type are also um, very rich in other uh, in, in earth-like worlds as well as water worlds um, but as you move farther and farther away in the spectral range of stars so hotter stars and cooler stars uh, uh, earth-like worlds become less and less common so people don't like to visit them um, I personally like to choose to keep all of them on um, just one second though because I need to make sure I'm not crashing into a planet and I am not which is good um, so, so yeah, um, I like to visit almost every type of star except these because the honestly the brand dwarfs. After a while, I, at first I was visiting every single type of star, but the brand dwarfs are boring after a while. Like you visit one, and it looks exactly the same as the ten previous one you visited. Um, they also can have Earth-like wards, but they, they are extremely uncommon. Uh, usually very few planets, usually always icy type or icy rocky type. Um, honestly, after a while they are kind of boring. Um, kind of the same reasoning for M-type stars, because they are also kind of boring um, after a while. Uh, every once in a while I'll turn this on, um, but just because it's at least it's scoopable, but otherwise I don't keep them on. And I keep turned on all these as well, except the white dwarfs, because I don't like the white dwarfs. Um, every once in a while I turn them on, but not really interested in white dwarfs. Um, yep, so that's it uh, for the galaxy map, I think. Um, I have 
let me check still not crashing which is good uh, let me see if um, yeah, let's point it a little bit more carefully there we go um, so in the future I want to go some other places um, well at some point I'll go to Colonia just because I've never been I want to go I recently saw in another stream this system that looks fabulous it's so gorgeous it's inside the nebula um, so I I want to go there uh, but otherwise that's pretty much it so kind of want to explore everywhere um, and with time I think I'll do it uh, what else well while we approach the star well not the star the, the planet um, I can show you a little bit of my ship um, not that you can tell too much from here but this is what I have um, again you should check out uh, um, ship with this command if you are if you started watching right now with, with, uh, the command is ed phantom and it will give you a link to Coriolis um, I have both Reaper limpets and fuel transfer limpet controllers um, because I wanted not only to be able to repair myself but if there's ever the need to do some ratting um, I kind of want to do it and in fact uh, once I go back to the um, to the bubble I want to do the the training that the fuel rats offer to to do ratting because I think it would be useful to actually do it at least you know do one practice uh, with some guidance um, but that is why I have a few limpet controller which is it's the the, the, the most lightweight fuel controller limpet um, uh, I could get and it has the modification to be even lighter and that is because Honestly, I don't really expect to find anyone needing ratting um, out in the black, but if it happens, I want to be able to transfer fuel. But at the same time, I don't want to have a bunch of extra weight on me. Um, everything else is pretty standard on this ship. There, is, there isn't anything really particular. Um, I would say it's, it's a standard exploration. Phantom. Uh, it took a little bit to do all the engineering and get everything, but honestly, I thought it would take longer. Um, I started following some guides to, you know, find the materials, find the uh, manufactured materials, also um, everything that was needed to find the Guardian technology to make the FSD booster. Um, and it was pretty easy, honestly, to do. Uh, nothing, nothing, nothing exceptional. Um, I'll slow down because often I forget to slow down a little bit, and I end up overshooting the, the planet. Um, okay, almost there. At least I get the to be the first one to map it. Um, and since it is starting to be kind of late, I think I'll find I'll try to find something nice to land uh, in this system or in the next few systems, and then I think I'll call it a night. Again, if you're watching right now, watching later, thank you so much for che checking out my scream, my, my scream, my stream. Um, 
and um, you know if you have any comments uh, want to ask anything want to chat about anything feel free to drop a message in chat or drop a, a message in uh, you know in the private chat um, more than welcome to to hear um, your opinion especially especially in the stream um, I certainly have a lot of things to learn and relearn too okay this is done which is great um, nope nothing nothing to land so I will need to go further Why? I don't get it. <laughs> what? This doesn't make any sense. I mean, I'm only traveling through Oh, unless I'm traveling through non scoopable stars and they don't have enough fuel. But it shouldn't do that anyway. What did I accidentally. No, everything is good here. Rat settings. This is good. And I mean, this is just roughly twice, 2.5 times the, the maximum total range I can achieve. Why, why is he giving me a route error? Okay. Um, Let me do this. Um, too far away. I mean, okay, I can get anywhere here. So even scooping shouldn't be an issue. Oh well. Um, oh, you know what? It's probably because it doesn't like to do this this trip around. I've had that happen before. Now that now that I think about it. Okay. There we go. Frameshift drive charging. In fact, I see it's a bunch of very short jumps um, it's probably because there's very few stars I'm quite below the galaxy plane I didn't quite expect. Uh, I'm finding a lot of systems that are already explored this out, this far out. Um, especially because I'm so much below the galaxy plane. Nothing special here. Uh, I guess no. Nothing. No worth Frame my time.
disengaged. Uh, that's two stars on the planet here, and it's a gas giant. Um, nothing special again. Also ready mapped. Maybe, maybe it's the fact that I'm solo on the galaxy plane is the reason. Because I'm guessing other people thought exactly like me, like, okay, I'll go kind of the lowest portions of the galaxy plane and explore there. So probably the best location is to go somewhere in between the galaxy plane and where I am now. Where the stars are also the answer. And uh, probably not too many people have been there. Anyway. Not that it matters too much. Um, yeah. Water ward? Possibly. Right there. Okay. Nope. Great. Because I, I really want to find a good spot. Possibly not previously mapped or discovered. The two stars. Fuel scoop disengaged. Frame shift drive charging. There we go. Four, three, two, one, and was undiscovered. I can tell you that already. Yep. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Maybe there is something nice here. special at least asteroids three geologicals is this a high gravity one nah, moderate moderate gravity go um, no next um, except that 
if it is um if it is a high metal high metal content word maybe worth something I don't remember it is a high metal content word All right, I'll land it. I'll map it and I will land on it. Wait. Mm, I need to select it first. There we go. At least it's relatively close. <laughs> I even forgot earlier to to deactivate the planetary vehicle hangar. Oh crap! There we go. Overshooting. Classic. problem with overshooting is that I tend to approach it from the dark side which I don't like because if I want to land on it I kind of have to travel on the other side um, but I guess that's fine Probes. Should be sufficient. If not, to launch another one. Surface scanned by fifty percent. There you go. Surface scan complete. Wait. I want to find... well, it's all the same. Let's go here. Two vents. Okay, not too fast. Distress beacon. This is interesting. Also wasn't expecting to find distress beacons here. Um, Uh, oh, well, that's good to that one. <laughs> Guess we can go a little bit faster now, since we are still high up. So it looks like it may be in the in, in, in the rough Orbital terrain, flight engaged. which is the dark stuff. And I don't want to land in rough terrain.
usually I approach planets with somewhat higher speed so it doesn't take so long but um, sometimes then it's too fast and and it does an emergency exit from uh, from shift drive which ends up damaging a bunch of modules um, so I kind of want to avoid that not is not that is a big issue I have an AFMU for everything but I'll take the time to enjoy the landing or well, I guess the approach and then the landing G is totally fine. Just need to be careful not to approach the surface too fast. Otherwise won't be a big issue. There we go. See if there were any landing gear deployed. Uh, I kind of forgot how to drive here. So there it is. Nope. No. Slightly higher gravity there. I am touching. Game, I am touching. There we go. Let's take this carb. This is flat terrain, high well, not high gravity, but moderate gravity. That's a lot of pods. Damn. How many? One, two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> Conductive components. Well, I'll take that. Wait, uh, wrong button. This one. Cargo scoop deployed. Nothing special, but, well. I'll take it. Uh, do I want to save these people? Uh, kinda. But they add mass. Uh, I'll go see what mats I can find here. Then I'll pick them up. Interesting to know, if, um, like how long those pods have been there. Guess I'll take it. This is iron or 
Nico. Nico. There you go. Uh, I used a little bit of it, so to, to, to generate some limpets. So I'll take it. Phosphorus to refuel the SRB, so take that. And there, here you get to see. Wait, no. Um, there. Here you get to see the Italian driving. So in a, a moderate gravity system, can't really fly around too much. I'll take Tim. The collision and movement of the particles it's not that great. Um, definitely looks artificial. But oh well. Crystals. This is antimony. Okay. Oh, because I'm full of antimony. <laughs> um, I mean, I can show you. I guess I have all grades, but as you can see, I'm almost full of everything. I'm only missing stuff like phosphorus, nickel, sulfur, like the low grade stuff, vanadium, uh, still kind of lowish grade, because I used it for engineering and I, have been, I haven't been farming since then. Um, but still, I have so much. farm the last few materials here and then I I'll pick up um, I'll pick up the pods I'll take it because I used it for some engineering. Um, I was also engineering a, another ship um, before starting this trip. I am I am on right now. Oh come on! Uh, it was um, the mining Python. And uh, and also create MKTU Mark two, I guess. Um, so I ended up using a bunch of those kind of great materials.
not as fun when the gravity is on here. Other one is if the gravity is low, I love to fly. Like everyone else, I guess. Oh no, wait. Uh, I need to do the transfer first. Um, transfer all to ship. Confirm. Okay. 